and girls, are you ready for another amazing week of learning? Yes, I hope you are because this week we're doing something special. We are going to a party. Woo! Anybody want to go to a party with me? Well, you came to the right place. We're going to learn about some great things this week, boys and girls. So stay tuned. And remember, this year we are growing together. Let's go. <music> boys and girls, you know how we begin our classes. We need to review the months of the year. We are in a brand new month as we get back to school. So let's review our months of the year and learn what month we are in now. Here we go. Repeat after me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent job. As I mentioned before, we are in a brand new month now that we are back to school. We are in the month of September. Can you say that month? September. Wonderful job. So I say, what month is it? And you say, it is September. Beautiful. Let's try one more time. What month is it? Awesome. Very good. Let's move on. The letter of the day is L. The letter L sounds like ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure your tongue is behind your teeth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You try it. Excellent. Now let's take a look at some examples of words that use the oo sound. Here we go. Lake. Can you say lake? Excellent. Lake is a word that begins with the oo sound. A lake is a large body of water that is surrounded by land. This lake looks like it is surrounded by mountains and hills. Lion, can you say lion? Lion is another word that begins with the ooh sound. This lion lives far away from you and me, but if you take a trip to your local zoo, I'm sure you can find one. But be careful, they like to eat lots of meat. Lemon, can you say lemon? Excellent. Lemon is another word that uses the ooh sound. We use lemons for lots of things, but mainly we use it to make a nice drink called lemonade. Mm -mm. 
Now this is a picture of the capital and lowercase l. They look a little bit different from each other, don't they boys and girls? The capital L or the big L has a bottom on it. We can call it a shoe. The lowercase L has no bottom or no shoe. Let's take a look at how to write the big or the capital L. It goes like this. All right, boys and girls, now you know what the letter L looks like, you know what it sounds like, and you also know how to write the letter L. Don't forget to practice both the capital and the lowercase letter each and every day. I know you'll do a great job, boys and girls. Can you think of some more words that use the L sound? I know you can. Keep up the great work, boys and girls. Let's move on. for my most favorite part of this week's lesson. You and I are going to a special party. This party is called a luau. Can you say that? Luau? Excellent job. But before we go to the luau, I think I want to change clothes. Give me one second, boys and girls. It worked. All right, boys and girls, I am all dressed for the luau. Sometimes when people attend a luau, they like to wear clothing that has flowers on it. This outfit has the hibiscus on it. Can you say hibiscus? Very good. The hibiscus is the state flower of Hawaii. Now, a luau is traditionally held in the state of Hawaii. It is part of the Hawaiian culture. When you get to your luau table, you will notice that there are some gifts that the Hawaiian people have prepared for you. Let's take a look. The first gift I noticed when I sat down at my luau table was a lei. A lei is a necklace made of flowers. The Hawaiian people are definitely known for making these beautiful leis and giving them to visitors. Now, the next gift I noticed was another necklace. This necklace is made from the kukui nut. And it looks like this. Everyone at the luau table gets one of these to take home. The kukui nut tree is very special to the Hawaiian people and carries a lot of meaning. The last gift that I noticed at my luau table was a crown. This crown was made from the leaves of the coconut tree. They take the leaves and braid them together to make the crown. And then they let the crown dry. See, it's braided just like we braid our hair. Okay, boys and girls. Now I think we are ready for a luau. Let's go. The word luau means Hawaiian feast. 
A feast is a large meal that you eat with a lot of people. At the Luau, you will have lots of options for food. And mainly the meat they will have is pork. They will cook a large pig in the ground, boys and girls, and everyone will get to taste it. Next up is the entertainment, and it will look a lot like this. There will be people who are twirling batons that have been set on fire. Usually, the women will come together in a large group and do a big, beautiful dance all at the same time. Let's watch. The Hawaiian people also have their very own language. You will often hear many people on the islands say this word, mahalo. Mahalo means thank you. Can you say mahalo? Aloha is another word that you will hear very often in Hawaii. Aloha is like a greeting. It's what you say when you meet someone. Instead of saying hello, you would say aloha. Or instead of saying goodbye, you would say aloha. It can also have a deeper meaning, boys and girls. Aloha can talk about the spirit, the spirit of love, compassion, and mercy towards others. You could say something like, it is good for us to spread the aloha to others. That means it is good for us to spread peace and love unto others. Aloha, boys and girls. While you are at the luau, you are going to hear some very special music and singing. Some of the instruments you might hear are drums. Another instrument you might hear is this. Now this might look like a guitar, but this is called a ukulele. Can you say ukulele? Very good, excellent boys and girls. A ukulele is very small and it has a slightly different sound than a guitar would. Something like this. Now, I do not know how to play the ukulele, boys and girls, but you can head right on over to YouTube where you can find lots of different Hawaiian style music. I suggest you take a listen. It sounds so lovely. Boys and girls, I hope you have had a wonderful time at our luau today. I hope you remember at least two things that we saw today. Remember all of the gifts and remember all of the food and the entertainment. Boys and girls, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Keep up the great work. Let's move on. boys and girls. Have you ever heard of the word rule? Do you know what it means when someone says, follow the rules? 
Well, you and I are going to learn about those very things today. Come with me. There are lots of rules that everybody has to follow in this world. There are rules for children, and there are rules for us adults too. And rules help to keep everybody safe. Follow me as we learn about following the rules together. Let's go. On the playground, there is a rule that says no pushing. Boys and girls, we don't want you to get hurt and we don't want you to hurt anyone else. So when you are on the playground, play safely. No pushing is the rule. When you go to the restroom and you are all done, after you flush, the rule is wash your hands with soap. Boys and girls, when we wash our hands, we are washing away all of the germs. We don't want anybody to get sick, so we wash our hands every single time. Don't forget to use soap. The library has a very big and important rule. When you go to the library, don't forget the rule is no talking. Boys and girls, the library is a place where people can come and read or study for school or work, and they do not want to hear lots of loud conversation. Don't forget the rule, boys and girls. Shh, no talking in the library. Well, boys and girls, now you know all about rules and how to follow them and why we follow them. Do your best to follow the rules that maybe your teacher might give you or rules that mom or dad might give you too. These rules are set up to keep you safe. I know you will make the right decision, boys and girls. Let's move on. The shape of the month is circle. What is a circle? Well, a circle is a very special shape, boys and girls, because there is no beginning or end, and it does not have any sides. It just goes around and around and around and around and around. That's what makes it so special. Now, let's take a look at how we spell circle. Here we go. C I R C L E. Circle. Great job. Okay, scholars. Now that you know what a circle is and you know how to spell circle, let's take a look at some examples of things that are shaped like a circle. I think you might already know one before we even get started. <laughs> Here we go. Tape. Boys and girls, have you ever seen tape? at school or at home, we use it to hold things together. Well, tape comes in a circle. We call it a roll of tape. We know tape can come in many colors, but it definitely comes in one shape, circle. Clocks, that's right, boys and girls, clocks. 
Most times, the face of a clock is a circle shape. Now we know they can come in many different other shapes, but usually we will see our clocks in the shape of a circle. Do you have a circle clock at home? Wheels. Yes, wheels. We can find wheels on lots of things. Bikes, motorcycles, dumpster trucks. The wheels are all in the shape of a circle. Where else can you find a wheel that's a circle? This pie is in the shape of a circle. Most pies and some cakes are also in the shape of circles. During the holidays, we usually see a lot of baking, lots of cookies, cakes, and pies. Keep your eyes open. Well, now you know what the circle looks like. You know how to spell the word circle, and you know where to find some circles. Boys and girls, your mission is to keep your eyes open around your house and in your neighborhood and see if you can add even more examples of circles to your list. I know you can do it, boys and girls. Let's move on. The color of the month is blue. Boys and girls, we love learning about colors here in our school. Today's color is blue. Before we get into any examples, let's take a look at how we spell the color blue. Ready? B-L-U-E, blue. There are so many different colors of blue. There's dark blue all the way to the lightest of lightest blue. Boys and girls, let's take a look at some examples of things that are blue. These are Robin's eggs. A Robin is a type of bird and this bird always lays blue eggs. Aren't they pretty? When you are outside, you need to look up at the sky. The sky is blue. Now, sometimes the sky can look dark if there is a storm coming, but on a beautiful sunny day, take your eyes up, 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 and take a look at the blue sky above. This is the blue poison dart frog. It is said to be the bluest animal in the world. He may look cute, boys and girls, but don't you touch him. He can be dangerous and make you very, very sick. This bird is called a blue jay. And yes, they are blue. Boys and girls, this bird loves to sing its song very loudly. Keep your eyes open as birds are flying past you in your backyard or sitting in the trees. Is it blue? You might just be looking at a blue jay. Well, now you know what the color blue looks like. You know how to spell the color blue. And you've now seen examples of the color blue. And I know you can find even more examples even right there in your home. Boys and girls, keep your eyes open all month long so you can add more examples of the color blue to your list. 
you're going to do an amazing job. I just know it. Let's move on. The number of the day is one. Before we look at some examples of the number one, let's take a look at how we spell the number one. Are you ready? Here we go. One. O. N. E. One. The number one is one of the easy numbers, boys and girls. It means we only have this many of something, just one. Let's take a look at some examples of how we can count the number one. Here we go. Boys and girls, please tell me, how many ukuleles do you see in this picture? That's right. If you said there's only one ukulele, you are correct. Good job. How many ducks do you see swimming in the lake? That's right. If you said one duck, you are right. Very good, boys and girls. How many people do you see in this picture? If you said there's one person in this picture, you are correct. Great job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, you now know what the number one looks like. You know how to spell the number one. And you even know how to count to the number one. Boys and girls, make sure you practice writing this number each and every day. I know you'll do a great job. Keep it up. Let's move on. Well, what a wonderful class we have had today, boys and girls. I mean, we had a new letter, we had a new number, but you know my favorite part of the day, boys and girls, was going to that luau with you. Maybe you should try having your own luau at home sometime. <laughs> Boys and girls, you did a great job today. I want to encourage you to keep up the great work. You are working so hard and teacher Melinda is so proud of you. Come back next week and I'll have a brand new lesson ready just for you. See you next time. Bye-bye. During the pandemic, we all had to learn new rules to keep ourselves healthy and safe. Have fun watching this claymation video and having a discussion about those same rules with your child. This will be a great time to review how to keep ourselves healthy and safe once we have returned back to school this fall. Teacher Melinda is wishing everyone a wonderful, safe, and healthy school year.
Aloha once again, parents. I encourage you all to get up and have a dance with each other. Please enjoy this Hawaiian dance with the Hawaiian music in the background. Aloha. Aloha.